Earlier, Chinese hackers used to dominate global hacking competitions, often winning top prizes. But after 2017, they suddenly disappeared. At first, no one knew why. Then, an incident in 2019 revealed what was really happening behind the scenes. In March 2017, a group of Chinese hackers traveled to Vancouver, Canada. Their mission was to find hidden vulnerabilities in popular software and devices Google Chrome, Microsoft Windows, and Apple's iPhone. But they weren't there to cause harm. They were competing in Pabuyun to own, the world's biggest legal hacking competition. Hackers find security flaws, report them to the companies, and get paid sometimes up to $1 million, especially for rare zero-day vulnerabilities that no one has discovered before. For years, Chinese hackers led these events, but after 2017, they disappeared. Their absence raised questions especially in the US. Then came a statement from Chihu 360, a major Chinese cybersecurity firm, its CEO, Zhou Hongyi, criticized Chinese hackers for showing off their skills abroad. He said the vulnerabilities they found weren't worth thousands, but billions, and China shouldn't give them away. Soon after, the Chinese government banned its hackers from international competitions. Instead, China launched its own contest, the Tianfu Cup, with prize money over $1 million. The message was clear China was preparing for cyber warfare. The first Tianfu Cup was held in November 2018 in Chengdu. A researcher from Chihu 360, Qi Shijun, won the top prize for finding a dangerous hack in the iPhone. Starting with Safari, he found a flaw that allowed him to remotely control any iPhone just by having the user open a web page. He named the exploit Chaos, an accurate description of what followed. Unlike international contests where discoveries are sent directly to the companies, Tianfu Cup rules required hackers to report everything first to the Chinese government. From there, the government decided what to do. A powerful exploit like Chaos could sell for millions on the black market or be used for surveillance. Two months later, in January 2019, Apple quietly released an update fixing that flaw. But in August, Google released a shocking report. A mass hacking campaign had been targeting iPhones, and among the five exploited vulnerabilities, one matched the Chaos exploit. Google didn't name the victims or attackers, but later reports revealed the targets were Uyghur Muslims, and the attacker was the Chinese government. Since 2014, China has been accused of grave human rights violations in its Xinjiang region. Thousands were detained in camps, women were forcibly sterilized, and phones were checked for religious content. Anyone caught faced harsh punishment. China called it anti-extremism. The world called it genocide. The chaos exploit wasn't just used against Uyghurs. It also targeted journalists, activists, and critics of the Chinese government. When Apple confirmed the exploit was used for two months, the same time as Tianfu Cup US experts realized China had followed the CEO's strategy. Stop hackers from going abroad, keep their skills at home, and use their discoveries for state surveillance. Further technical analysis by US agencies and Google confirmed the chaos exploit used at Tianfu Cup was the same one used in real attacks. Then, in February 2024, a major leak appeared on GitHub. It exposed data from iSun, a Chinese cybersecurity company. The leak included emails, chat logs, and spyware tools revealing iSun worked directly with the Chinese government and military. They charged up to $75,000 per hacked inbox. Today, Tianfu Cup is in its eighth year. It's backed by major Chinese tech companies, Topsec, Alibaba, and Chihu 360, but US officials are concerned. Topsec, which organizes Tianfu Cup, is allegedly recruiting nationalist hackers for military use. The competition is no longer just about finding bugs, it's about building cyber weapons. In 2024, Chinese hackers breached the US Treasury Department, stealing sensitive documents. That same year, they hacked into nine major US telecom networks, including AT&T and Verizon. In 2020, a group named Typhoon targeted US energy and water systems. In 2023, a malware attack was discovered on a US military base in Guam. Experts say, Chinese hacking groups quietly maintain access to systems for years, only acting when the time is right. China is building an army of hackers for a new kind of war, a cyber war, where no missiles are fired, a war where code can paralyze a nation, where a single virus can crash a stock market, 